Hi everyone, this is Whitehawk and today I will be playing a rather infamous game. Super Philly Adventure. It's... Well, <laughs> you guys, most of you are probably going to skip ahead to find out why this game is infamous to a certain point in this video. Probably later in the game. But, you know, I, I have played this a long time ago and I remember it being very, very uh, unsubstantial. Yeah, I think that's a good word for it. This is a story about one filly that will find her special talent. F fair enough, that's that's a good uh, topic to tackle, uh, a good subject matter to make a game around. Playing as a filly who has to find out what her special talent is. Th that's a reasonable thing to make a game around of. The problem is, the game is a little too simple for it. Ponyville, I heard many ponies live here, and I'm supposed to meet up with Pinkie Pie? Yep, Pinkie Pie. Oh, hi there! You must be new around here. Oh wait, you're Jade, right? Welcome to Ponyville! Um, hello Pinkie Pie. Was there something you were going to show me? Ah, that can wait until later. For now, let's have a party! A party? Pardon me, but I just got here. Exactly! We're gonna have a party to celebrate a new pony in Ponyville. We're gonna have cupcakes, fun and games... So what do you need me to do? I know! You can go send out invitations for me. This way, I can make so many cupcakes. And of course, have the party ready in time. At least an, an invite to all of my friends. I'd hate to leave them out on my on one of my super fantastic parties. Use the list of my friends just for a reference. Receive list of friends. Press shift to view. You don't really need that list, really, but still. But what about... It can wait, right? Don't worry, we'll get to that later. Uh, fine. I really was hoping to find out what my special talent is. If I had to guess, your... You are special talent will be to be a background character in Ponyville. Just kidding. Alrighty, it's time to start making some cupcakes. I'll catch you later. Make sure to send out all the invites. That's our first objective. Time to send out those invitations. Did I say that right? I probably didn't. <laughs> Twilight, Dashy, AJ, Rarity, Flourishy. Well, it may not be a bad idea to introduce myself to them. Yeah, Rainbow Dash is called Dashy because reasons. It'll come up soon. Don't worry. So basically, it's a simple game where you just move around with the arrow keys and you have space to interact with characters. Let's talk to Twilight first. Hello there, I'm Twilight Sparkle. I'm Jade. I have an invite for Pinkie Pie's party? Question mark? You have an invite for the Pinkie Pie's party? Question mark? Sure, I'd love to go. Try to receive the invitation. Uh, her vector is kind of crap, if I may be blunt. I, I guess it could just be because of the resolution I'm playing it. In. Anyway, yeah, they're talking about cupcakes right now, and that's what Pink Pie is making. They'll come up later, I assure you all. There, there's lots of dialogue you can speak with the characters here, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to talk to all the characters at least once. Banana! Your hair is a banana. It is. If you if you look carefully, there, there there's a knitted right there that made it Derpy's hair look like a bunch of bananas. Okay. And if you talk to Derpy again... She'll say muffin. And you want a muffin? If you give me muffin, I'll give you something awesome. Alright, why muffin? Who cares? I want to see what awesome thing this wall-eyed pony has to offer. Fair enough. Let's make a muffin at some point in the game. We will. Opalescence is here for some reason. But more importantly, Flourish Eyes here. Hey there. Um, hello? Is anyone there? I'm Jade. I'm... F f right. Um, are you friends with Pinkie Pie? Twilight? Flourish Eye? Oh, yes, I'm Fluttershy. Um, Pinkie Pie wanted me to send you all an invitation to her party. Did I screw invitation again? I keep, I think I keep saying invitation for some reason. That might happen quite often, but at least I know I'm doing it wrong. Oh, sure. I'll go to it, if that's alright. Uh, yeah. Fluttershy received invitation. Huh just gonna hand out the invitations because that's what I'm supposed to do. Well, hello there! Hiya, I'm Jade. I'm Rarity. Uh, say, have you ever considered changing your hair color? Uh, you don't like green hair? I'm not saying that. Well, never mind. I think green suits you well, Jade. Of course it does. My name is Jade. Thanks. By the way, you want an invitation to Pinkie Pie's party? Why, yes! I'll go get myself ready. Rarity received the object that uh, I was supposed to give to her. And this is what the list looks like, by the way. Like this. Let's talk to Dashy, quote-unquote. 
Hey there! Hiya, you look like a cool pony. Oh really? Thanks, I'm Rainbow Dash, the fastest flyer in Equestria. Cool! Is that how you got your cutie mark? By being fast? Yep, there was this big race and I had two things on my mind. Going fast and winning. Awesome, I'm Jade. Do you want an invite to Pinkie Pie's party? A party at Pinkie Pie's? Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, for some reason... <laughs> I know what the reason is, but Rainbow Dash is commonly referred as Dashy in this game. And here's Gummy. Why am I talking to an alligator? Uh, we can enter Sugar Cube Corner right now and even talk to Pinkie Pie right now. Why did I call it a hacksaw? I don't get it. Hey there, Jade. Want to help me make cupcakes? No thanks. I'm still busy sending out invites. Uh, Alright, maybe later? Don't know yet. What were you saying about a hacksaw? Oh, it's nothing. I like to think of weird stuff like that. You don't use a hacksaw for hacking. Hacking is what you do with an axe or something. Pinkie Pie? Yes? You scare me sometimes. I sometimes scare myself too. One night it was so dark, I turned and I saw an eerie pink pony evilly looking at me. It was a mirror. I saw myself. It was... It, it, uh, so was it really me that was evilly looking at me? Or something else? What do you think? I think I'm out of here. Bye. Yeah, in case it, is, it isn't obvious yet, the game maker, when he made this game, he was a pretty big fan of the fanfic cupcakes. Don't look it up. He was really big fan of it. And you can see that the, the, the influence of that fanfic is all over the place in this game. Young Pony, you know what lies ahead? I was just going to check it out. It's just a forest, right? It is not wise to go alone, for the every forest is not well known. Ooh, the forest with strange creatures and stuff? I've heard of it. My home is in that forest, young one. Hear me out. Dangers beyond it are about. You live in the Everfree Forest? How do you know what dangers there are? I have learned not to wander in unknown ground, for frightening creatures will be found. Alright, I'll keep out of the every Forest. Yep, that, that's all Zakora is there for. You can't actually do any side quest for her. You can't give her an invitation. You, you can't do any of that. So that, obviously, there is no purpose for Zakora to be here. I, I guarantee it. I wish. Anyway, Applejack is here. Awesome pony. Howdy there. Hiya. What can I do you for? I'm doing an errand for Pinkie Pie. I send out invites to her party, which will be later today. Ah, I'm Applejack. Pinkie Pie must have sent you here to invite me to her party. I guess so. Here's your invitation. AJ received invitation. Thanks a lot. Say, do you got a minute? Sure, what's up? I'm going to be making muffins. Would you care to help me out? Sure, I like muffins. How do you make them? Why, that's easy. Come with me to Sugar Cube Corner and I'll teach you. And here's the, our second objective in this game. Uh, it's kind of gimmicky and not really uh, <laughs> deep, but it is something that can influence the ending. We'll do it right this time, and then afterwards, when I finish the first ending, I'll show what happens if you do it wrong. I know it's still a little early for the party, but it's perfect time for baking. But Pinkie Pie said she's already doing some baking. She's making cupcakes. Never mind that. It doesn't hurt to bake more than what's needed, does it? Anyway, here are the rules you gotta follow. I'll tell you the ingredients, and you select the correct item. Pretty easy, right? If you mess up, there's no going back. We'll just have to make another batch. Alright, that sounds pretty easy. I'm ready. Alright, let's make some good muffins. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's always the left item. The correct item is always the one on the left. If you pick the one on the right, you're doing it wrong. I don't know if it completely ruins the muffin if you pick one wrong item, but every other one that's the correct one. But it shouldn't really matter anyway. And now we just mix it all together and we bake it. He says, I'm fine muffins you made. Don't give me all the credit. You help me out. All right, we made some good muffins. If you want, you can take one with you. All right, thanks. Jade received a good muffin. And that's all the invites, but I have to give uh, the muffin to Derby. Hold on. This game could have used a faster walking speed. Muffin? Yes, I have a muffin. Here you go. You gave a muffin to Derpy. And there's a nifty animation of her eating it right there. Om nom nom nom. Nom. So, what was that awesome thing you were going to give me? What? Did I say I had something awesome? Where? Uh, you said you were going to give me something awesome in trade for a muffin. I did? Oh, by the way, I'm Derpy. Indeed you are. I'm Jade. Do you want an invite to Pinkie Pie's party? A party? Will there be muffins? 
Yep, and cupcakes. Pinkie Pie's super special amazing cupcakes. I'm in. Derpy receiving the invitation. So yeah, Derpy is an optional character for to appear in the good ending. Or first ending, I guess. Uh, if you don't complete the side quest, uh, it, it, she basically won't appear in the place. That's the only difference. Except maybe like one extra dialogue box, I guess. Anyway, let's start the first ending. We sent out all the invites. And now, well, send all the invites. Yep, it is time to start the party now. It sure is. This is so exciting. Have you ever had a party before? It's only like the best thing ever. Yeah, Derpy is right there. Woo, it's party time. Feel free to eat my freshly baked cupcakes. You'll love my new recipe. That's cool. So what fun activities do we do at a party? Dance to the music, socialize, play pin the tail on the pony, eat cupcakes. Oh, and since you're our guest, you are our guest of honor, you can have a present. Sounds exciting. I get a present? Gimme gimme. Oh, Jade, you're going to love it. It's something that will make you stand out a little more. She, she, color wise, I think Jade is okay to be quite frank. Do you like it? This headpiece was to be worn by female pony warriors. But I think it would look so cute on you, and this necklace goes with your color. Why female pony? Why shouldn't it just be pony warriors? Like Jade says right here, you don't think I'm some sort of pony warrior, do you? Well, I don't know what you are, but you know, you can be whatever you want to be. So I can be a warrior pony? Sure, but I don't see why you would want to be. There are no big bad evil fire breathing dragons terrorizing their little town, so we're fine. Wait, I feel something coming on. My tail is twitchy. No, wait, my knee is pinchy. No, oh, it's a dragon. What do you know? All right, a dragon. Yeah, that's how you you obviously react when a dragon just appears out of nowhere. All right. It looks like it's going to burn down Ponyville. Well, time to go on the rescue, main six. You're, you're obviously going to take care of this, huh? Flourish High, you've t taken down a dragon before, right? You'll, you'll do it, right? No, not in this game. In this game, it's all about Jade. Pinkie Pie, let me handle that dragon. Are you loco in the Coco? You're too young to deal with a big, tough, meanie dragon. Trust me, I know what my special talent is now. You really do, huh, Jade? You really do, huh? Okie dokie, Loki! I do appreciate the custom art, but this is a, a little amateurish. But, you know, it, it is kind of nifty. My, my biggest issue right now is that Jade looks really off-model, surprisingly enough, even though she's the OC. I can't use magic? Then what can I do? Aren't you forgetting a weapon? I have a magical spear that you can borrow. Thanks, Pinky. With this, I'll be on my way. Can't use magic, but then you get a magical spear. Uh, so yeah, this is basically the one actual gameplay segment in this game, and it's very simple. It's a shoot him up. You basically have to defeat the dragon, and you just hold spacebar and kind of continuously dodge the fireballs. The dragon, it's uh, obviously a rich, ripped sprite, but the problem is I have with it is that uh, it's not even well animated, because it, it constantly like, like goes through this animation of like sort of kind of breathing fire, but it's just constantly shooting them out, regardless of uh, what animation it's using right now. Anyway, as you can see, just hold spacebar and go up and down continuously. That's all you really have to do. <laughs> oh, but I guess I can uh, point out a few things uh, while playing this. If you get hit, if you get below 50% of your own health, you'll start firing uh, faster. And if you're at 25% uh, health, you'll fire at the absolute fastest you can. So you have a rage uh, meter going on right there. In case you're doing badly. If you lose the fight, you just have to... You're just you're just like given the option to restart from right there. Which is good, but <laughs> also kind of tame. You know, it's not the worst thing, but it's still very, very simple. It also takes a bit long when you're using the normal fire speed. So I purposely let myself get hit multiple times just to get a fire fight. A faster firing rate. That's what say firing firing rate. <laughs> oh, now the dragon is attacking faster too. I'm not sure if it attacks even faster at 25% health, but uh, it does attack faster at 50%. Yeah, I suppose I can get myself hit a few more times to show how fast uh, Jay can attack when she's at 25% health. Right here. That's amazingly fast. You are awesome pony, Jade. 
totally not a Mary Sue took the the limelight from the main six who have taken care of a dragon before. Totally not. Uh, but I w oh well, this is how games do it anyway, mostly. I just wish this game had done it a bit better. Anyway, we won. Defeated the dragon. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is such a horrible drawing. I just... <laughs> what is wrong with her <clears throat> nose? Also, her knees or legs are bent wrong. And, uh, well, it's as I said, it's amateurish. I appreciate the effort, but that was just laughable. <laughs> Why did you terrorize Ponyville? Terrorizing was something I've always done in my past, and there's no change in it. I thought I'd have a little fun by doing my routine before my 100-year nap. Fair enough. Now promise us you that you will never do this again. What am I supposed to do instead? Also, didn't I just say a few moments ago that I was no changing me terrorizing stuff? Go find a new hobby. You can start by helping clean up the mess you made of Ponyville. Alright. I promise I won't terrorize you Ponyville ever again. Even though I said there's no change in that. Yep. Good job, Jade. You managed to break the rule set over by the dragons himself. Jade, you're alive! Thank goodness! I thought the dragon would have done you in good. Is the dragon gone? Not quite. Really? This is not something Rainbow Dash would say. Well, maybe she would, but after, like, uh, being brave first or cocky, you know? The dragon has only come back to clean up the mess. It left. Don't worry, it's not back to destroy us. It's a bit hard to see the periods in this game. Even the most wicked hearted can change. I just had to beat him down before I could get him to listen to reason. Oh, hi Celestia. I don't, I don't agree with your methods. Ponyville is now safe. W what are you doing there, Celestia? Just to, just to point out your own opinion? No prob. With the events that unfolded today, I finally found my cutie mark. I'm a warrior. A warrior? Interesting. Well, it seems that the dragon situation is all taken care of. You have my tanks. Oh, you were going to take care of the dragon yourself, Celestia? I wish I would have seen that. Too bad it doesn't happen even if you lose. Hey, Princess Celestia, did you want to stay for Jade's after party? We still have a lot of cupcakes left over from earlier. My apologies, but I've got some work to do back in Canterlot. It was nice meeting you, every Jade. Bye, everyone. Everyone should be every pony. Anyway, yeah, Celestia just comes in, gives her opinion, and then instantly leaves. I'm... I don't believe this was ever done in the show, was it? Except for like in Philly Picky King, but that was a joke. Alright, I'm ready to party. Woo! It would be awful if we have another incident like the last. No worries, with me here, nothing will destroy Ponyville. Come on, every pony, let's party before the cupcakes get stale. Woohoo! Ah, oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's ending one, the Super Philly ending. Peaceful times in Ponyville will continue for now, or something like that. As I kind of pointed out quite clearly, the writing in this game is sort of bad. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it, to be quite blunt. It's uh, it's not as endearing that uh, as the creator wished it could have been. That's the unfortunate thing. I don't know if it's because the game is too short or because uh, it doesn't spend enough time developing Jade as an actual character that is fun to play as, but... As I said in the beginning, this just felt way too unsubstantial. Anyway, I guess I'll let the credits go here for a moment. Thank you, players! Play again to try another ending. Yes, there are other endings in this game. There's one that's rather clear. And I'm going to show it right now. Unfortunately, you cannot skip the intro scene. I have to mash spacebar. Alright, to get the second ending, you first talk to Derpy. Who will uh, talk about uh, the muffin. And basically, yeah, yeah, now you've started the quest. I believe you have to talk to her about the muffin. I'm not sure if uh, you can trigger this ending without talking to her in the first place, but... Anyway, you don't have to talk to any of the ponies. In fact, that causes a plot hole, but don't talk to any of the ponies. Just go all the way to the right to talk to Applejack about making a muffin. Okay, so instead of making a good muffin, make a bad one. Just choose the right item every time. Mix it and bake it. 
These are some interesting muffins. What's that supposed to mean? Well, here, you have a try. No thanks, I don't really like muffins anyway. I know someone that does, though. Alright then, don't be endangering some other pony's life now. I'll be making the next batch of muffins, so you can go. Jay received muffin question mark? Yep. Muffin? Uh, yeah, you sure you want it? What kind of muffin? The recipe called for potato chips, lemons, uh, let's say they're salty and lemony muffins. I want muffin. Alright then, you can have it. You give muffin to Derpy. Goes through the same animation. Um, num num num. Num! So, what was that awesome thing you were going to give me? Muffin. Muffin. I gave you muffin. Now you will give me muffin? I don't follow your logic. You have a special talent. Oh, I do? In making muffins! Those were the best muffins I I ever had! Thank you so much. Yeah, it's... Periods and exclamation marks uh, are quite confusing to figure out between the uh, capital I's. Jeez. Oh, thanks. Yeah, they were really great muffins for sure. To be honest, I wouldn't eat them myself. Gross. Huh? My fan is looking a bit different than how I remember it. Is that a cutie mark? Congratulations, you got the muffin cutie mark. All right, I finally have my cutie mark. Yeah, this is the best day of my life. Nothing could possibly go wrong now. Yep, that's the ending already. We're already going through the second ending. And also, even though we never talked to her, uh, Twilight already uh, knows our name. I, I guess uh, the game creator expected you to talk to every pony before going to talk to Applejack about making the bad muffin, but I didn't do it. Uh, Jay, when are we supposed to go to the party? It's going to start soon. I'm going to go on ahead. I'll meet you over there. You want a muffin before going to the party? Aren't there going to be muffins at the party anyway? Oh no, it's a dragon. Twilight, you're going to take care of it, are you? No. Of course not. The dragon is just gonna completely destroy the whole place. Oh no, Ponyville's on fire! You sure you don't want a muffin? Sugar Cube Corner is probably on fire anyway. Trust me, they're really good. Derpy seal of approval. Ugh, this isn't the time for muffins! We're having a crisis! Well, that was rude. I mean, it's just a muffin. Derpy, let's make them have a taste of my muffins. And yeah, it's a kind of a joke ending with more le horse legs bent wrong and Twilight looking really derpy in the background there. And even derpy looked really strange. And that's the muffin ending. Ponyville suffered massive damage due to the dragon incident and soon after a new muffin shop opened up. It became popular among the Ponyfolk until they all got sick from muffins. Derpy, however, was Jay's best customer and I always loved eating her muffins. Yep. So it's a kind of a joke ending, but you know, it is an option. I mean... Silent Tale 2 had a joke ending, didn't it? And that was an awesome game. Of course, I don't believe this game has proven to be awesome yet. Which is strange, because at the very start, I mentioned that this game is infamous for something. Y you guys remember that? Yeah. Well... <laughs> I think it's time to show why this game has received such infamy in the Milo Pony Friendship is Magic community. Okay, I'm back at the intro, uh, so to get the third ending, the one that gave this game uh, infamy, you have to start talking to every pony all the time. You have to go through all of their dialogues, and most of them have like three uh, lines of dialogue, maybe a bit two or less. The, the one who has the most dialogue is Fluttershy, who's got like four lines. I'm not going to read all the dialogue because it's too much of it and it's not very good. But, you know... Okay, this is Twilight's final dialogue, uh, her asking what you, you like doing. Uh, for uh, Derpy, you do not want to give her the baked bads, but you can give her the good muffin. You Actually, you have to give her the good muffin, I believe. Uh, for Opalescence, I think you only have to talk to her once. You do have to talk to her, though. So I'll try, she loves animals. And now here she uh, foreshadows the dragon about to, uh, you know, destroy Ponyville. And her not doing anything about it. I guess we could, like, sh like chalk it up to this being before Dragon Shy, but it really isn't. It, it really isn't. Yeah, this is the final line of dialogue for Shy. I'll see you at the party.
Oh, uh, Rarity has uh, something special here. Uh, not here, not here. Filled with rocks. Yeah, you, you, you sh right here. Freeze frame bonus, guys. Did you see it? It, it was only one frame, assuming Camtasia did not like uh, <laughs> fail to record it. But it was literally one frame of a, a dialogue box uh, that you guys can see. I don't know what it says because I never checked. But if you guys want to find it out yourself, go ahead. Try to the weather in Ponyville. Can make it rain or shine. Thanks for making my hair wet. See you at the party. That's our final line on dialogue. Gummy, you just talked to him once. You have to talk to Pinky before sending out, sending out all the invitations, I believe. No, I do not want me to make cupcakes with you, Pinky. Especially not given the creator's tastes. No, not yet. Okie dokie Loki. That's our Pinkie Pie's final line of dialogue before having sent out all the invites. Uh, ignore Applejack for now. Talk to Zakora. Just the same warning about never going to the every forest, even though you can't go into it. Zakora's final line of dialogue is, you have a party to go. Am I right, young one? Go back to the party and have some fun. And if you try to go into the every forest right now, it doesn't let you. Now you talk to Applejack, make the good muffins. Uh, talk to Applejack one more time. I'll be seeing you at the party. And finally give the good muffin at Derpy. Actually, I probably could have given the good muffin at Derpy and then talked to Applejack, but I felt like talking to best pony first. Party time, woo, and that's Derby's final line of dialogue. So you've done all that, and now you go all the way to back to Zakura, and you have to be playing late at night. I think after midnight is the threshold, and before 5 o'clock in the morning or something, but you have to be playing late at night. Right now, my uh, timer is set at 1.35 a.m., so that should work. And it did. Now we have this. Creepy, huh? No, it's not creepy at all. And it's non- it, For some reason, it's night right now, even though that makes absolutely no sense. And you, even though there's no- There's no arrows here, you can go back. If you're- if you're too scared. Just a warning right now. Viewers discretion is advised for the following, uh, 10 or so minutes of footage. Viewers discretion is extremely advised. It's- it's quite different here. What- the mood of the game is going to be like. Let's just say the creator has a sick sense of humor and likes the fanfic cupcakes a little too much. You can still go back if you want right now. It's only after you go into the every forest that you can no longer go back. Unfortunately, to show the last ending, I have to go into the forest. Viewer's discretion is advised once again. Huh? That's weird. The forest trapped me inside. Let me out, damn it. Yeah, damn it. Let me out, damn it! Where's that damn forced cha chaos emerald? Or rather, where's that damn fort exit of the out of the Everfree Forest? And what the hell is Luna doing here? Season 1 Luna, no less. Which actually, I think, uh, yeah, I think this game was made before Season 2 was out. I think so. No, stop. Don't eat me. Aren't you Princess Luna? What are you doing here? Oh, good. You're not one of them. Damn. Damn? Who are you talking about? The bloody hooves. I didn't want to be here either. But my sister, she banished me here. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe the creator was also a New Luna Republic fan, something like that? Either way, this is not canon. I, I refuse to accept that. All of this, not canon. I've managed to escape them for now, but they'll be back. Um, do you know if there's a way out of this forest? Once the forest has you, you're trapped for here forever. But what about that zebra that I met earlier? It seems she knows a lot about this place. There's something strange about her. It's as if she were a creature of this forest as well. That's... No, th this is all non-canon. I can't really complain about this. Also, new 
portrait for Billy Jade right here. She just told me to go back. It seems I can't go back now. Yeah, Zagora warned us about this. I don't know how I can help you. I'm sorry. Can we go back here? No, we cannot. This is like the first Super Mario Brothers. Can't go left. Uh, will you stay with me? I don't want to die here alone. I'm sorry. I don't want to look for a way out. No, there is no way out. We can not stay here with Luna if we want. Forever. And nothing bad will ever happen to us because this game was not made this way. But that's not a third ending, which means I have to go over there. Go over here. And no, can't go back left yet again. And <laughs> fans of Luna may want to uh, look away and uh, block their ears if they don't want to see. No, they just have to not look away. <laughs> oh no, it's a bloody hooves. I guess I should talk to him. One of us. One of us. And no, we can't go back yet again. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for, for this to happen. Let me out. So we have to go right yet again. And this time, we're going to have to avoid one of the bloody hooves. It is possible. He's moving too slowly to catch up to us. I don't know. I think it's instant game over if you get caught by him, maybe. I I'm not sure. Anyway, he says you cannot escape your fate. And he's, he's not kidding. And, uh, well, we're dead now. Did you really think you could escape? No. Yep, yeah, we're dead. What are you doing? Stop, stop! I really don't see how anyone could think this is, you know. You've met what a terrible fate, haven't you? Yeah. I don't think, I don't, oh, come on. I really don't want to talk about this. I really wish this didn't exist at all. There didn't seem to be any reason for that she couldn't go to her party. Maybe she got caught in a trap? Jump scare! Yeah. Congrats on getting the blank flank ending. Jane was never heard or seen from again. For those who have seen Jane in the Ruby Forest, they never came back. Please leave a friendly note in the comments saying you got this ending. Also have a good night. So yeah, this is the primary reason why this game gained infamy in the community. Because it had a super grim dark ending that had that completely contrasted the mood of the main game, the main endings. But you know, given all the references to cupcakes, it's uh, not exactly surprising there was an ending like this in the game. The the problem is, this set a precedent for other people who make games to put in their, like, super grimdark endings, you know? That's what it did. It wasn't- I don't believe this was the first game to do this, but... Uh, I, I want to say it's because of Story of the Blanks. The problem is, Story of the Blanks was a good- like, it, it's a good game that did it well. Because it was the only ending in that game, Story of the Blanks. In, in games like this, it pretends to be cute, but then it- it puts in these secret stains that make it look that make the game a lot darker than it really ought to be. Instead of focusing on putting super grimdark stuff in your game, you should have focused on making a good game to begin with. You know, if you wanted to make grimdark My Little Pony, well, <laughs> you should have done that instead of just half-assing it while pretending that you were making a light-hearted game. You know. Well, regardless, I find this game to be really unsubstantial, not very fun. Protagonist is. Well, Mary Sue, really. And just nothing to like about it, really. I I really could have played this game a long time ago for, for my channel. But I kept putting it off just because I just didn't feel like playing it again. But I got it over it now. And, well, I imagine some of you enjoyed it. Maybe not the game itself, but the video. I, I don't know. Maybe some of you do enjoy this type of gameplay. I don't, though. A at all. If you're going to do Grimdark, do it right. Unfortunately, I, pe I think Story of the Blanks, or the guy who made Story of the Blanks and derpy story and whatnot. It's like, he's like one of the only guys who understands how to make it work. M maybe there's uh, one or two other games that I'm forgetting that also made it work. But this game didn't do it well at all. Nope, not at all. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video and hope you all have a very nice day. Link in the description if you somehow, for some reason, want to try this yourself. Bye-bye!